And into the trip door we go, if I have the door for it, the key for it. Yep, I do. We'll put it with the dreamer's key. Yep, we will. Hopefully it's just three three levels like the last one. So we can make a quick effort of it. Oh, here we go. Got a guy right here. God, I just can't shake it. Once I got it in my mind, I want to eat something. I can't think of anything else. Hey, you, I hate to ask, but have you got any bowls of country corn soup, have you? You have? I've got 20 orbs I can give you in exchange. Well, sure. Huh? Thanks to the... Wait, you don't have any at all. I'll teach me to let people get my hopes up. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had any. There's another one of these chests here that we can't open yet. Uh, 10 orbs will unlock it. Okay, I don't have 10 orbs yet. All right. Oh, that's a chest that you can unlock with 10 orbs. All right. Well, that gives me hope now. Let's come down here and maybe kill some things. Some orbs out of it. Okay, and... Nothing else here. A lump and lumber. Ah, there's a chest. Finally. I should be gone. Okay. Another one of these chests, too. Fifteen orbs, huh? No, we're not going to do that because I'm going to need the orbs to probably make it through this because we're going to get to danger level four in a moment here. There it is. All right, on to the next level. Something truly terrifying. Yeah, okay, so this level four is the, the last level then. To the next floor then. So do I want to take on a level four boss? Probably not. So let's, uh, I mean, it's not going to get any more dangerous than it is, but let's, uh, Weisty Sorcerer's Scepter. Let's go reduce the thing a little bit. Five orbs to decrease it by one. Yes, make an offering. Very good. All right, and grab that. I think level three ought to be good. Just see what quality of monster we hit up against here. I need to go any further in level three. Yeah, what is in here? This has got to be something good, right? Ten orbs? Yeah, let's take it. Garage bow. That was not good at all. <laughs> that was not even anything worth thinking about. Uh, from Spear, what do you have? You have that. Yeah, that's worse than the one she's got. That's fantastic. Should have saw that coming. Up there. Okay, well, I guess we're going to take this guy on. Whoa. Whoa there. Whoa there, sir. Come on, come on, Higgledies. Do something for me here. Oh, 500 points. Yikes. Oh, wow, they're both down. That's fun. None of that. 
There will be none of that. Oh, I'm getting something powered up here. Back off a little bit. Oh, thank you for the healing. Friends, get over here and do that. Oh, that works so well. But he's still got a lot of health. Oof, I took the edge of that. Now let's see if I get my get my buddy pals up here. Uh Angel's Tear. Angel's Tear. There we go. And let's do what's this? Physical defense fills you up a little. Alright. Uh magic points. Actually, using stuff now. How about that? Yeah, I think just a regular sore away on me. Yep. There we go. Make yourselves useful. Here. All right, get the higgle these in on it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 on that one. He's definitely coming after me. Where are my buddy pals at? Oh, they're over there getting getting wrecked. <laughs> oh no, this guy. He's doing something bad here. Oh he's oh he's he's down. Okay. Time to go go ape on him. Figuratively speaking. Oh. He's charged up. That's not good. Not good. There you go. Evan doing something for a change. Jeez. Oh, he's only able to fight now, unfortunately. Try that. Oh, he's down too. Whoa. Whoa. Shoot him in the face. Keep shooting him in the face. Oh, don't get close to him. Now's not the time to get close to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ah, okay, I'm supercharged. Just keep hitting them. Just keep hitting them as hard as you can. Bang! There it is. Oh! Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I got a blue dream fragment for it. For my troubles. Yeah. I'm glad I reduced it to level 3. Because <laughs> doing that at level 4 would not have... Would not have worked out so well for me, I suspect. So I guess this is every door from now on just goes one floor, floor more. Where we get to nine floors at some point or something like that. Okay. Top of Sour Sap. I wonder... I have ten... Was it ten orbs that that chest won it? Oh, I took the stuff. I took the chest. Okay, never mind. I was going to go back and try to open our chest again, but nah. We're done here. Get the Dreamer's Maze? Yep, we will. We will indeed. Uh, back here we are. This little old lady. Oh, hello there. Arf, arf, arf! They say that fortune fame is the wise traveler who stays at the Dreaming Chamomile Hill Inn. Why not join the ranks of the wise this evening for a bargain price of 20 gold? Oh sure, my. why not? You do not seem tired, but if you would like to rest regardless, I would gladly take your guilders. Oh, uh, yes. no. Never mind. Please enjoy a pleasant time with Goldpaw. Um. Oh, oh, and there's like all kinds of uh, exclamation points here now. Somebody has an exclamation point on their head. Is that you? Evan! Oh, Evan! Thank goodness you're all right. Harsha, mm -hmm. what are you doing here? Yeah. Well, you know, things got rather hairy back at the castle. I had to persuade a young man to hide me in his cart so that I could escape. The next thing I knew, here I was. Gosh, well, it's a relief to see that you're safe anyway. Yes. Oh, yes, they're taking very good care of me here, you know? This is my first experience of life in another kingdom, but it seems like some things are the same wherever you go. As long as you're willing to work for a living, you can't go far wrong. Oh. That's wonderful to hear. By the way, I've started a new kingdom of my own. Would you like to come and join us there? Huh? Gosh, are you sure? I mean, it's a wonderful offer, but I do have a job here. <laughs> ar, har, har. Don't be silly, Persia. The king himself has come to fetch you. I shall be sorry to see you go, but how, how could I possibly stop you, hmm? But, there is one last thing I would like you to do for me before you go. Could I ask you to sew a new quilt for one of the guest rooms? Hmm. I'd be happy to, of course, but uh, we're all out of thread. Oh, dear. Alright. <laughs> I can go get you some thread, Persia. Thanks. Would you? Oh, that would be such a help. Four clumps of green glade cotton would be just perfect. Pretty sure I have that. Pretty sure I already have that. In my, uh, in my inventory. Yes. Oh, I only have I only have four. Never mind. Really cotton. Yeah, I've only got four. Uh, or I mean, I've only got one of four. <laughs> I'm like I that rings a bell, but uh, apparently not just yet. There on that. Uh, let's talk to some of these other people that have exclamation points over their heads. What they want from me. <laughs> Fi do, <laughs> Fi do. I come from a long line of military leaders, you know. My grandfather in particular was a very famous and fearsome warrior. You, you, okay. Uh, oh, it must be you with the blue thing. Oh, yes. Yip, yip. Listen, Pai Chi, becoming a truly first-rate seamstress calls for more than just dexterity with a needle. You see, the key to our craft is always consider the person who will wear the item we are creating. We must keep them in mind as we sew every stitch. Yes. Yes, madam. Yip, yip. I will be sure to hear this in... Hmm. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Is... Is it... Are you... Are you Evan? King Evan? Well, yes, but I'm really just a normal person like you. Normal? Savior Gold Paul. Normal? A hero and the leader of a proud young nation. Wait, this is perfect. What do you think, Pai Chi? This could be a perfect opportunity for you to strike out on your own. 
<laughs> oh, madam, you, you, you are absolutely correct. What luck and what a wonderful timing. Excuse me. I'm awfully sorry, but I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She wants to come join us, dude. Like, learn. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I do apologize. We are forgetting ourselves. I am Yip-Yip, and this is Pai Chi. I work as a seamstress here in Gopal, and Pai Chi is my apprentice. And I have recently decided to leave Madame Yip-Yip's tutelage in order to find full-time work. Which is what we were discussing when you appeared. It is perfect, is it not? This is destiny. I am sure of it. It's a true King Evan. It's a true that your kingdom is in need of skilled workers. If so, then I beg you to consider me. From, from darning socks to tailoring suits, I have skills aplenty. Well, we'll always have a need of new clothes, I suppose, and perhaps you could even help with making armor, of course. We'd love to have you. Gosh! Aha! Your decisiveness is truly worthy of one of your station, King Evan. It is great relief to know that my dear apprentice will be under your command. In that case, Your Majesty, I must ask you for the binding thread. Binding thread? What's that? It is a tradition here in Gopal for an employer to give a seamstress a skein of thread to mark the com commencement of her employment. The thread represents the bond between master and servant. It is said to ensure undying loyalty. <laughs> this custom is of great importance to us, King Evan. No self-respecting seamstress would start working for a new master without a binding thread. <laughs> I... I see. Yes. I would appreciate it very much if in the thread you would give... The thread you gave me could be grass green in color. All right. Well, another one who wants the grass green thread. Well, I got one of those. Of course, leave it to me, Paichi. I shall bring you some grass green thread right away. Wonderful, I will be awaiting your return. Okay. So... Oh, grass green thread zero of one. Oh. So I don't have grass green thread. Uh... And then we have to go into that place there. But... What happened to... There was other people here with exclamation points on their heads. I swear it. Yeah, over... Over at Luckless Lane. I can just follow this around. Right there. Yeah, I feel like I'm running so much faster now. Grab this. And who has... Oh, you do. Excuse me. Excuse me, may I ask you something? I'm looking for the one called Golden Warrior. Do you perhaps know who he is? Crikey! Crikey, there's a name and a half. I don't think I've ever heard it before. Mind, is there anything else you can tell us about this warrior character? Yes. They say he's a true leader of men and that he has blonde hair and pointy ears. <laughs> blonde hair and pointy ears, eh? Remind you of anyone, Evan, my lad? Oh my goodness! Wait, that sounds like... Uh, me. Oh, you are younger than I expected, but now that you mentioned it, you do match the description. But I've never been called the Golden Warrior or anything like that. Are you sure you aren't? Golden Warrior, please, please come and save us. Crikey. Crikey, she's proper pleading with you, man. Sounds like she was in the right pickle. Yes, well, right, well, I'm sure we'll be able to help you, miss. Can you tell us the whole story from the beginning? So you'll come and save us? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Hoi Den. <laughs> I live here in Goldpaw, in a quiet area away from all the hustle and bustle. Always a peaceful place to live until recently, that is. Now it's being threatened or terrorized by a horrible monster. Well, horrible monsters are my, are my business, are they not? What is more, most of the adults who live there work in other parts of the kingdom. Only children and old people remain, and they cannot hope to defend themselves. I'm setting out to find someone, anyone, who could assist us in our hour of need. And I found you. Please, you must come and help us. What do you reckon, Evan? I don't fancy her chances if she's waiting for this golden warrior bloke to come and help her. You're right, Lofty. Well, there's only one thing for it. We're going to have to step into the breach. Don't worry, miss. We'll take care of this. Oh, oh, thank you. The monster always runs off after it's had its fun rampaging through our neighborhood. I believe it's lurking down in tight-fit cavern near the heartlands. I fit cavern. All right, we'll go and deal with it. You wait here, Hoyden. Um. Cool. Yeah, I'll make it the active quest. Why not? I think that's because that actually takes us back to where we were. So I don't want to do that yet. 
Because again, we'll go back to all the way back to our heartlands. But is there anyone else here with an exclamation point on their heads? Doesn't look like it. Let's do. Oh wait, there is one on Big Win Way there. Where am I at? Luckless Lane. All right, so I gotta go. Gotta go straight. It looks like. Hmm, okay. I guess everything does tie into one another. Maybe I'll find that cloth that she wants. Oh, we're back to the beginning here. Okay. So... Oh, I just passed, I passed the person. Back here? Oh, there's another person. Oh, in here. Uh, oh, it's you. If you require weapons, please speak with the shopkeeper. I cannot help you. Oh. Come now, newbie. <laughs> Surely it's time for you to try making your first weapon at last. Ah. Your weapon maker. That's wonderful. Uh. Well, my training is not yet complete. My grandmother was a weapon maker, you see, and I was her apprentice until she passed away. I should find a new master, but I do not have the enthusiasm. The shopkeeper here has taken me under his wing, but in truth, I am worthless. Mm. That's terrible. I understand how hard it must have been for you. But I'm sure your grandmother would have wanted you to continue your studies and become a weapon ma maker like her. In fact, why don't you come to my kingdom so you can do just that? Oh, yes. Well, well, newbie. <laughs> newbie. That is an interesting offer. What do you think? Would you like to go to this kind young man's kingdom? Hmm. Yes, yes, I think I would. But there is a favor I would ask of you first. Of course there is. There's always a favor. My grandmother loved nothing more than to see her weapons used in defeat of ferocious monsters. But there is one monster she never saw beaten, but she always dreamed of it. I think it would help her rest in peace as monster would eliminate it. Hmm. I'm sure that's something we can help you with. We are in the monster bashing business anyway. The beast is known as Magmanimus. Magmanimus. Okay, so it's one of those Magman things. It roams the lands near this kingdom. Please, you must see that it is defeated at last. It's one of those magma balls then, right? We get a cool long sword. Yeah, sure. Active quest. All right, before we leave here, let's get this main quest done. Came all this way for this. Look at this place! <laughs> Silence in the library. Shh. We'll have no rubberneckers here. You'll need the proper accreditation before I let you touch my bookie wookies, yes? Your bookie wookies, huh? Are they are they books on wookies or are they wookie books? <laughs> Well, do you have a library card, hmm? No library card, no bookie wookies. And the only way to get one is from me, hee <laughs> hee. Well, can you give us one? We need to look at these books. Need to, hmm. Just desperate to get our greasy fingers on my bookie wookies, are we? Hmm. Only mine will do, hmm. <laughs> well, aren't we a cheeky one? But I like a cheeky one. <laughs> yes. Please, you'd be doing us a huge favor. Mm. What's this? Another cheeky one. And this one's all little and adorable. Yes. Very well. Body will ask you three teeny weeny little favor ravey woos. Perhaps if you're lucky, I might let you touch my precious bookies after that. Just say the word when you're ready, yes? Yes! <laughs> okay. The Trials of Bodley. Oh boy. What do you want? Three little favors, three little treats just for Bodley. Hee <laughs> hee. First treat, first treat. I have a ravenous hinker hankering for a red, red rose. Hee 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 hee. So red, so pretty, mm, yes, and, uh, and they only bloom once and ever, such a long while. Luckily for you, there are some nearby. What the flip? <laughs> what the flip? 
You want us to go flower picking for you? Flip, man. Talk about taking liberties. Why don't you go yourself, you workusy old harridan? <laughs> No, 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 no. Awful creature, ignorant creature. I must stay and tend my darling bookies, yes? So where can we find this flower, Bodley? Leave Gullpaw and go north. North! But you can't walk there. No, it's at the top of a great big huge cliff. Great cliff. Oh, yes. A cliff? A cliff! Body just said so. You all need to be able to cast bridge to get there. Do you know it? Hmm? Yes, bridge, an easy peasy magic trick for showing pathways where none were seen before. Oh, that's that little path that we saw that couldn't get through. That's a new one on us, Mun. Wouldn't even know where to begin if we wanted to research it back home, neither. We'll have to learn it, dear. There's no way around it. Would you like a teeny weeny hinty winty woo on who can help you? Lily, little Lily, she'll know what to do. Oh, yes, yes. Hmm. Sounds like a local, but how are we supposed to convince a gold paw girl to come over our way, huh? Foolish creature, even is the savior of... Pfft, even. Evan is the savior of Goldpaw. A hero, yes, a wonder. Many want to join him now. Many, many, many. All right, then. Let's go and find out if Lily is willing to join us, shall we? Yes, and then you can bring me on my lovely, lovely Rose. Mmm, tee-hee-hee. Okay. It was nice speaking with you, I guess. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <laughs>